More of a worldly man are you after starting a game uh, a couple of weeks ago? I know you started before, you know, whatever, but being the guy, what, what did you learn out of being the guy all night? I um, mean, it's, just, it's just, uh, just going out there and just, just learning how to play on the big stage, whatever, and just, I don't know. It's not too bad because, I, like you said, I started before, so I mean, yeah. I already knew what kind of expect. Just at the level of the style of game that we was playing, that's about it. Do you feel a responsibility, though, you didn't feel three weeks ago, you know what I'm saying, being taking Christian's oh, spot yeah. and stuff? Just talk about what that means to you. Oh, yeah, definitely. I feel a responsibility to step up for the team and help us out as much as possible at strong safety, do everything I can. So I'm just trying to get to do everything I can for them. What do you think of Iowa's offense right now? How do you, how do you think they're going to challenge you guys? Oh, no, they're really good. I think then they're going to try to run the ball and try to attack us to the field side, uh, the field side, throwing the ball. When you know it's a team like that who likes to run the ball, what do you? is there anything you have to do differently against maybe a team like Northwestern that ran more spread? Oh, uh, yeah, there's this, uh, a couple of different things. Like that, uh, going to our base, uh, base package, stop the run because they run heavy, like you said. So that's probably about it. Is it as simple as maybe they want to run the ball on you guys, and you guys want to run the ball on them. To who wins this game? Uh, I mean, yeah, they, you can say that because I know they're going to try to run the ball. And they, they're going to have to for the chance, I think. So. Yeah. so what about the, the streak? Does that enter your mind? As people be, continue to talk about it a little more each week. Oh, we just try to take a game at a time. I mean, it do. I mean, you do hear it a lot, but I mean, you just got to take a game at a time. Not think about down the road or what we did in the past. Just. Focus on that one. What's you it like? You the team yeah. doesn't, nobody, hey, let's get 19. Uh, you yeah. hear that or no? Uh, I mean, yeah, like I yeah. said, sometimes, but we just focus on one game at a time. What's it like, though, to be part of one of the longest streaks in school history, though, to know you're sort of part of a really, you know what I mean, a, a team that's going to sort of be remembered? Oh, it's, I mean, it's a great feeling, so, but with that comes a lot of pressure. I mean, responsibility, like you said, stepping up and everything like that, so. What is it about Urban Meyer and his and his system that I don't know provokes such kind of streaks? Do you think, Corey? I mean, you've you've seen it now for a year and a half and stuff. What is it that they get out of you guys from week to week? Uh, they just always push us and just continue to push us every day with practice and off the field. So, I mean, I think it's with them pushing us like that every day. I think that really helps us. With as much as Iowa runs the ball, is it play action that makes their pass game go? Oh yeah, the play action coming off the run game, yeah, that helps them out. So. What do you have to watch for? I mean, oh, you just got to read your keys, make sure you're on top of your game. Now, <laughs> have your eyes in the backfield looking at the run. So, that's probably about it. What's been uh, the challenge pass defense wise? Um, coaches talk about that, want to emphasize that during the bye week. And get ready. In your view, what what needs to be shored up, I guess? Uh, we just uh, attack, attacking the receiver when the ball is thrown and playing and driving and getting to the, uh, getting to the ball so we could cause turnovers and, and it's different stuff like that. The coaching staff says that they sometimes feel like they've, they've left you guys on an island back there. Do you feel like you've been on an island? I mean, we just do whatever the coaches tell us. They have, we know they're going to put us in the best places as possible, so we just do what they say. So, I mean, if it's out being on an island, I mean, it is what it is. You've got to do it. Pitts Island? Island uh, Pittsburgh. You like that? Well, it's hey, really yeah. cold out here. Wouldn't you like it if they put you on an island somewhere? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're yeah, we, yeah, we nice right now. <laughs> well, you, you know, you've heard that, you know, even Coach Meyer referred to the pass defense as alarming a week and a half ago coming out of those two games at Wisconsin. What have y'all shored up, do you think, in the last two weeks, Pitt? Like I said, um, we like get to the ball faster when the ball is thrown and just working on our regular just pass defense mm -hmm. all together. Yeah, and communication, too. Do you, is y'all's communication better than it was? I mean, uh, Wisconsin, hey. some guys got loose, you know. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Some yeah, voids. Yeah. You know? yeah, yeah. Ever since Wisconsin, we've been uh, communicating a lot more. So I think that's been going pretty good lately. Big help for us. When you look at Iowa's passing offense, questions. are there any players or things they do that stand out in a way they might be able to challenge you? Um, yeah, they uh, get a boss to tight ends a lot. I think a lot more than um, other teams do. So I think that will be a different, something different that we haven't seen no much. And that's probably about it. One more question, anything else? Thanks, Corey. Thanks, Corey. Thanks, Corey. Thanks, Corey. Thanks, Corey. Thanks, Corey.